we are going to meditate before to begin the interview the conversation Um, so I would like to ask you, Marco, uh, what is your relation with arts in general? <laughs> well, first of all, Claudia, I, I want to thank you for inviting me to talk with you and to um, be on your channel. Uh, I think what you're doing is very brave, conducting th these talks in English, even though it's not your, your first language. I also speak some Spanish and I wouldn't do what you're doing <laughs> because uh, I don't feel as much confidence in, in myself. And so I'm, I'm, I'm glad that you um, are doing it because otherwise we might not be talking. Um, so hopefully, uh, you know, we'll, um, we'll find a way to understand each other and we can use any language that, that, we, uh, that we have uh, available to us, I hope. I, uh, I, I want to, uh, I guess, to answer your question. I mean, first of all, my name is Marco Morelli. Uh, I have a middle initial V, which um, is uh, my father's name. And not his name is not V, it started with the letter V. Uh, but it's hard to pronounce. He was from Italy, Vinicio. So I just say V. Uh, and there's some other Marco Morellis out there. So I thought, oh, I'm going to use that letter. <laughs> and uh, it has other meanings for me as well. Uh, I am uh, an artist and I am a poet. And um, my relationship with those identities is uh, one that I think is unfolding through my life as I learn how to bring myself, my understanding of the world, my consciousness, um, my vision, my perception, my ideas, um, and my relationships into, from the inside out. So I think what's particularly special about art and about the arts, any kind of art, mm -hmm. poetry, visual art, film, all the arts, is that they bring together the, they bring together the inside and the outside what is within us how we feel how we perceive our consciousness and what seems to be outside of us the world around us what's going on the news um history and time yes uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> so i i think that what makes art special is that it brings those together and it takes us into, I think, a more integral relationship. It can. It can bring us into a more integral relationship between ourselves and the world. Uh, and so for me, it's a practice. It's a path. It's a spiritual path. And, uh, and I work with it every day, some days more than others, and some days I feel less, less able to do it than others. Um, but uh, I've chosen to I make my life about that, to identify with these ideas, the artist, the poet, etc. Um, because uh, 
because I think it offers this opportunity to um, to say something to say something that's relevant and to say something that is uh, unique uh, and and I've benefited in my life and I've, I've been like awakened in my life by the artists and the art the music the films the books that uh, that have that have you know that have come onto my path uh, and so I thought oh I want to do that too that's what I want to do with this life and so that's that's my relationship with it in a nutshell but there's a lot more to it of course yes. that we can discuss so it's interesting that you are telling me that you are uh, someone that uh, writes poetry yes um, I do. yeah and that you consider yourself an artist so for me that is really like wow to consider yourself an artist is something really high for me you know because i uh, the ones that i call artists are people that devote themselves to to art but not only art uh, like modern art and just doing art for the arts themselves it's because they have a deep profound connection with a divine force or with the grace the grace and when they do the art they do it from their heart them hearts and sometimes they involve some mind some intelligence sir, from the mind from the logistics in order to have techn good techniques. But mostly what I consider art is the ones that are really sincere, that have sincerity. Mm -hmm. I consider very few people in history artists. <laughs> um, very few civilizations that have a real art. So I want to begin from that topic, like, uh, so you consider yourself an artist and uh, and you write poetry. Yes. Uh, do you believe this poetry is coming from a graceful place, place from yourself? That's a very interesting question. Um, because in my my experience, it's coming both from a graceful place from a divine consciousness and from my human experience mm -hmm. which in many aspects doesn't necessarily um, on the surface of it anyway um, feel or seem divine or blessed by grace or a higher power it's not my higher self all the time uh, in fact, I think the most powerful art that I have experienced and that I, to the extent that I've created any, that I've experienced within myself, mm -hmm. uh, has also the union, has also the quality of uniting the high and the low, you know, the, the, the bright, the light and, and the darkness. And, and this also is what I, I find in all great art, is that it's not simplistic. It doesn't just say it's this or that or one thing or the other. It doesn't oversimplify. Like, it's realistic. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, I think that there's something in us that aspires, that desires, to um, embody that grace that you're talking about. And in, in order to, to do that, we have to work with our material. We have, to, we have to work with our flesh, literally, our bodies, our habits, our conditioning, uh, what we're able to do. You mentioned the training. Um, an artist of any kind has to train some, they have to learn how to uh, do their work and uh, 
and also and, and, and the mind um but then it's a path it takes time to to unfold and maybe it takes lifetimes to, to unfold i there we all we it's also kind of um ironic or paradoxical because we we live in a time now in the year that we call 2022 in this world that is globalized and interconnected when there really is a there is a lot of art right so-called art mm -hmm. you can go on the internet and you can never find an end to, exactly. to the amount of art that that's out there television you know everything um but what you are talking about is a little bit different than that when you say that there is only some artists you think in, in, in the world and that it's a, a special thing to you don't you won't call just anybody an artist so i'm wondering oh am i really an artist <laughs> but that, that's but that but that that's part of uh that's part of the um i think also the, the you know the struggle that many people feel mm -hmm. uh, who feel called to art called to beauty and truth and um and the you know, the life force that that art transmits conveys is uh it's hard to you know it, it's we can feel like you know here's here i mean here's the thing is that we always start by imitating mm -hmm. and and so when you're learning on the one hand you have an inspiration you have a felt sense of being called or you have a sense of a connection or something a voice the, the divine however we speak about it you have that feeling on the other hand you have your conditioned self <laughs> and uh and the conditioned self is in a relationship with all and is embedded in a particular place and culture and history and time and so when you start learning and growing you look around and you try to you say, oh, I like that. I don't like that. I like that. I'm going to do more like that. And, and, and you imitate the others. So you do that until you understand maybe how it's done. Right. Mm -hmm. So you under, you begin to understand more why, uh, a, a music is composed this way or a poem is written this way or the painting is this way. Uh, and, and then you also more discover what's different about you because each one of us is a unique incarnation of of the you know the absolute uh and and the and the divine doesn't <laughs> i mean this is going to sound funny but doesn't like want us to just imitate like wants more like wants to bring forth infinite diversity infinite creativity mm -hmm. infinite uniqueness okay. and we're part of that our particular incarnation everything we experience endure struggle with everything that gives us joy is part of that ultimate that infinite ex expression so i think the artist and the, like if the artist is a kind of archetype in psychology like in our in our deep psychology that we can identify with and say i'm going to be be an artist uh the artist is ultimately i believe participating in that divine that absolute that cosmic creativity and it's a f infinite force that comes through everything in all of us but the artist particularly like, like owns it and says i'm going to do that too like i'm going to participate in the creative aspect of the divine i'm going to i'm going to be a creator and a co-creator and uh and that's what i think is exciting about it in particular because it's a different attitude like the scientist for example it's another great archetype the scientist says i'm going to know i'm going to understand mm -hmm. i'm going to perceive i'm going to observe right uh and maybe like an act like a a, a warrior or an activist i'm going to change it i'm going to make it good i'm going to make it just there's a different 
attitude, the artist says, I'm going to create with it. I'm going to create something new, or I'm going to bring forth a new reality. And you're going to, you're, the, you're, you're questioning that, but I want to, yes. please tell me what you think, because I'm just, I'm riffing. <laughs> I'm, yes, with, with everything that you say.